Hello humans, my name is Professor Leach and today we want to practice simplifying some expressions. This is uh, going to be less about um, just building up volume of practicing expressions together and more me pointing out the thing, the, the common things, pitfalls that we don't want to fall into. So let's take a look at one of my favorite things where that we tend to automatically read and assume is one thing, but when we read carefully, we realize is not the thing that we thought it was. Here's a great example. So this expression has three X, I'm just gonna spell it because it's difficult to speak, but we'll have three X minus two parentheses X minus four. So oftentimes in algebra classes, especially students that have been through algebra classes and are coming through a second time around, have seen a lot of this construction of a binomial and another binomial and some multiplication. However, we've got to read the expression carefully to see what's being multiplied. So the question is, the multiplication is happening right here. This is multiplication. So the multiplication and the parentheses uh, make us think distributive property. This multiplication, there are parentheses, so we're thinking distributive property. There are parentheses with addition inside. So we should be thinking distributive property. So we know that multiplication distributes over addition. We have multiplication and parentheses. And so, and with addition inside, that's the important thing. There's addition inside the parentheses. So we should be thinking the distributive property, but we've got to remember, we have to read carefully and think about what exactly are we distributing? But what are we distributing? So in this case, what's being multiplied is just the negative two. I'm gonna change this to a plus, and then I'm gonna do the negative. I'm gonna split this into multiple examples. So change that to a plus. Good thing that got recorded. So what we're distributing is just the two. We're not distributing three X plus two because that's not it grouped together. So we're not gonna distribute an entire three X plus two, we're just distributing the two. So the, what are we distributing? Just the two. If I want to say multiply the whole, the sum of three X and two by the X minus four, I have to write something differently. So in this case, we're just distributing the plus two. If we want to distribute the entire three X plus two, we need to write the expression differently. If we want to distribute the entire three X plus two, then we need parentheses. So if we want this expression to distribute the entire 3x plus 2, then we need to use parentheses. So the expression as written, we're only going to distribute the plus 2. So I'm going to do the 2 times the x and the two times the negative four. The three X is not involved in this multiplication. I've got a plus two times X is a plus a two X. Plus two times negative four is a negative eight. We've taken care of the multiplication. So now we can use addition. 
because multiplication goes before addition. So now the 3x plus a 2x, those are like terms. I can add them. And here is the simplified expression. After we do the multiplication, after we do the multiplication, then we can do the addition. So we have 3x plus 2 and x minus 4, but we're only multiplying the x minus 4 by the 2. If we want, uh, so the distributive property is only applying to the 2. That's what we're multiplying. Remember what we said yesterday. It's the multiplication that makes the distributive property happen. It's the multiplication the, and the addition inside the parentheses. That's why we're doing the distributive property. So. If I want to distribute the entire 3x plus 2, I have to write a different expression. So instead of 3x plus 2 times x minus 4, if I put parentheses around the 3x plus 2, now we read the expression differently. This is still multiplication. Because when we just jam two parentheses, sets of parentheses together, we assume that this is multiplication. So still multiplication. There are still parentheses and addition inside. So there's still parentheses with addition inside. So we're still thinking distribute. But this time we're distributing the entire 3x plus 2. Because the 3x plus 2 is in parentheses, we're saying this group, this thing of parentheses, is being multiplied by x minus 4. So I'm going to distribute the entire 3x plus 2 to the x and the 3x plus 2 to the negative 4. So this will look like I'll have 3x plus 2 times the x. So x times the 3x plus 2. And then minus 4 times the 3x plus 2. So this is the case. Uh, this is commonly known as FOIL. This is the multiplication algorithm that we learned way back when, when we learned to multiply numbers. So I took a times b plus c and wrote it as ba minus ca. But multiplication is commutative. The order is not important. And then we get the four terms that we expected to get. We have x times, now we're still doing the distributive property. So we distribute again, x times 3x plus 2 times x. And then we distribute a negative 4. Negative 4 times 3x. And then negative 4 times 2. So we get the 3x squared plus 2x minus 12x minus 8. And then once we've taken care of all of our multiplication, we can deal with our addition, where we only add things that are the same. And when we add them, it doesn't change what they are. So 3x squared, 2 minus 12 is minus 10x minus 8. So this is where, uh, this is the case where we're multiplying the entire polynomial, the entire 3x plus 2 times the x minus 4. We have parentheses, and that's what indicates we should multiply this way. So if you're wondering which one gets distributed, it doesn't matter because multiplication is commutative. So we could also, we could also have written 3x times x, times x minus 4 plus 2 times x minus 4. And we'll get the same four terms. 
just in a different order. We'll have three X times X uh, plus three X times negative four plus two times X plus two times negative four. And it's still the same four terms that we had before. 3x squared minus 12x plus 2x minus 8. So we get 3x squared, same two like terms, minus 10x minus 8. So the important thing that I wanted to bring out with these two examples is to read the expression carefully not just kind of go on a binomial next to a binomial, so we FOIL. FOIL is an abbreviation for multiplication, where we have, we're gonna multiply two terms by another two terms. In the first example, we're not multiplying two terms by another two terms. We're only multiplying the two, this plus two, by the x minus four. If I want to multiply 3x plus 2, the whole thing, by x minus 4, I need to put the 3x plus 2 in parentheses. I need to group it up into one thing. Parentheses is how we say this is one thing. Not necessarily do this first. I think too often we say parentheses means do this first. There's nothing to do inside the 3x plus 2. These are not like terms. We can't add them. Similarly, x minus 4, there's nothing to do inside. They're not like terms, we can't add them. The parentheses really mean, think of this as one object. 3x plus two is one thing, multiply that whole thing by the x and the negative four. Any questions? So it's important to read where we have multiplication and some parentheses with addition inside the parentheses we can think about the distributive property. One bonus thing that we do here is, that we want to call out is distributing the negative. This is sometimes just, I have this kind of lazy language for this particular thing, which I, and I usually just say, distribute the negative. If you have a negative in front of your parentheses, it's got, you're, you're subtracting everything inside the parentheses, which means you're going to be changing the signs. A negative, uh, distributing a negative changes the signs in the parentheses. So if I have, I'm just gonna pull out a piece of the sample that I had before. If I have minus two times three X uh, minus five, we're multiplying by a negative two. I have negative two times three X and a negative two times a negative five. Negative two times three X is negative six X. Negative two times negative five is positive 10. So we see that the, the 6x and the 10, that's the 3x and the minus 5 multiplied by negative 2. So we see that went from plus minus to minus plus. The 6x came from negative 2 times 3x and then we multiply the negative 2 times negative 5. So that comes up with a six X minus 10. What I want to associate, what I want to associate is that the six X and the 10, those are the two terms that came, the, the reason we have two terms down here is that we had two terms in the three X minus five. Three X times negative two is negative six X, negative five times negative two is positive 10. Two terms multiplied by a constant ended up with two terms. Plus minus, we multiplied by a negative, we distribute the negative, changes all the signs. 
So we want to skip the, the, the skip, steps that we want to skip are the one where we're writing out all this. This is a skippable step. Because we're going to end up, end up having to write too many sets of parentheses for multiplying all these negatives and too many pluses and plus minuses with parentheses inside them. So we want to go straight from our two polynomials together right to the four pairs that we want to make. This is what FOIL is designed to do. I just don't want to tie it to the acronym FOIL because I want to be able to expand. And FOIL is only two terms times two terms. Any questions? All right. So let's move on to what was the other thing I wanted to do? Oh, yes. I wanted to expand on FOIL. And I want to think about multiplication distributes over addition. So I want to. Remember, multiplication distributes over addition. I know I say this probably too many times. Multiplication distributes over addition. So if I have two times three plus five. This is multiplication. And there are parentheses with addition inside. That's what tells us to distribute. So I can distribute the two. I can write this as two times three plus two times five. Two times three is six plus five, uh, two times five is 10 or 16. So I can use, the, I can use distributive property because multiplication distributes over addition. Now you could say, couldn't we add the three and five first? Absolutely, there are parentheses and parentheses say to do the addition before you do the multiplication. So you could totally interpret this problem by saying, or two times three plus five, you can totally do the three plus five first and come up with 16. So the reason that we want to keep in mind this distributive property business, but if we had something like two times three X plus five, the parentheses are saying, do this addition first, but we want to simplify the expression because right now there's too many steps. Right now our expression says first multiply by three, then add five, then multiply the result by two on the whole thing. Well, that's too many steps. We can cut one of those steps out. We can use the distributive property and say two times three X plus two times five Two times three X is six X and two times five is 10. So we can simplify the process to say first multiply by six and then add 10. We've gone from three steps down to two steps, a 33% reduction in our effort. For subsequent simplifications of plugging X in, maybe this is a lot of work to do, I don't know. So we don't, we wanna stop reading parentheses as do this first and start reading parentheses as this is one thing. And then recognize that we have options for how we go about 
how, for how we proceed. So the reason that I wanna indicate that multiplication distributes over addition, the reason that I always phrase it this way is that we see parentheses and we just start doing distributive property, even when it's multiplication, but not when it's not addition. So it has to be multiplication distributes over addition. It has to be multiplication with parentheses and addition inside the parentheses. So for example, if I'm looking at an expression that says two times, then parentheses, three times five, this is multiplication and there are parentheses, but it's not addition inside. It's multiplication It's multiplication and there are parentheses, but it's not addition inside. Multiplication distributes over addition, not over additional multi or not over multiplication. Multiplication distributes over addition. This is multiplication, not over addition. This is just multiplication. This just means, this is all just multiplied together. We could probably, best thing to do would be say, this is two times 15 and two times 15 is 30. But what this really means is that this is all multiplication. And we can note that multiplication is associative. we can do the grouping however we want. Associative means that two times three times five is the same as two times three times five, which means that the parentheses don't matter. This is just two times three times five, because it's all still 30. I can do the two times three, it's either a six times five. I can do the three times five and think of this as two times 15. I can even flip around the order and do the two times five, which is 10 and say this is 10 times three. So I can even change the order because most multiplication is also commutative. Associative has to do with the grouping. Commutative has to do with the order. So I can do the two times five, even though that's taking things out of order. All different ways of looking at this as a product that will give us 30. What I'm trying to avoid by pointing this out is that don't just automatically start throwing distribu distribution around when there's parentheses. Stop reading and also stop reading parentheses as do this first. I see that, um, I see that pointed out way too often especially if you go out onto the internet and look at algebra things. They say the parentheses say to do this first. It's like, well, that is not what the parentheses say. I want you to imagine parentheses as this is one thing. And then I want you to be, uh, to understand your operations enough to, uh, enough to understand when that matters. So parentheses mean group these things together, not do this first. Don't read parentheses as do this first read parentheses as group things, th these things together. So 
So don't read parentheses as do this first. Read parentheses as group do that the, these things are together. Any questions? And this is what I'm trying that I try to emphasize by trying to get rid of PEMDAS. Because PEMDAS is trying to be some one rule to always follow. And it 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 leads to some bad outcomes. It makes us read parentheses as do this first. It makes us read parentheses as some kind of operation when it's not, it's just grouping things together. It's how we, when we're writing math, say these things is one thing. Because you don't always have to do these that do this first. Two times, two parentheses, three plus five, strict PEMDOTs would say you have to do the three plus five first, but you don't because there's a distributive property. And three X plus five, if you're following your PEMDAS rules, you'd be like all oh, 3x plus 5, do that first, but there's nothing to do there. The problem with saying do this first is that you see the 3x plus 5 in parentheses, and then you try to make something happen when there's nothing that can happen. The 3x and 5 are different. We can't add them. Don't try to force something that isn't there. Just look at the, uh, the 3x and tell the 5, it's like, oh, hey, 5, 3x is just not that into you. We just, we can't fix this. We're just going to have to separately multiply by two. It's better to have options. Any questions? All right. This came out a little bit long, but this is this is the the get rid of PEMDAS bus. Any questions? Comments? Snide remarks? So be careful. Don't stick your hands out of the PEMDAS bus, the get rid of PEMDAS bus. Because if what they told us in elementary school is true, that's that's how you lose an arm. It, it was not until college that I knew someone that was missing part of their arm and they did not lose it in an elementary school bus. I mean, I agree with the principle of not sticking your arms out the moving vehicle. I, I agree that that is a good thing, to, but I don't know why there has to be some kind of threat behind it. You know what I mean? Crowd but control. Crowd control. Crowd control through fear. My favorite example of this is we used to have these signs around Skyline um, that was uh, to, to discourage people from spitting. And the problem that I have with the sign, not I didn't have a problem with discouraging people from spitting because that's gross. Don't just like casually spit all over the place. I understand that if you're out on the trail and running and stuff like that, then you know you got all mucus and you get you got to spit. But at least like spit into the dirt or the bushes. But you know, like camp skyline, the campus is mostly paved all over the place. So spitting is really nasty because there's all these globs of spit all over the place. But the way they went about it is wrong. They're like, oh, spitting spreads disease. And so that's why you shouldn't spit. And I'm like, oh, that, that's way too far. I mean, I guess in times of COVID, then that's that's like spot on. But this is like way before COVID. I was like, we don't have to have spitting spreads disease. Just be like, oh, spitting is disgusting. Be a grown up and don't be disgusting and don't spit on the sidewalk. I mean, shouldn't that be enough? I don't know. Times of COVID, it's much easier because everybody's wearing a mask. So it's like, well, keep your mask on, then go ahead and spit if you want. That's kind of gross. 
but uh, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's the thing that I want, that was the thing that I wanted to communicate today. I really want to get us, get us away from looking at this parentheses as like, I'll do this first, or that um, parentheses automatically triggers distributive property. Parentheses, parentheses triggers distributed, distributed property under very specific conditions. When the operation outside the parentheses is multiplication, and when there's addition inside the parentheses. Those two things have to happen before we get to distribute. So we say it's multiplication, yes. Is there addition inside? Yes. When we get to here, we have, is there multiplication? Yes. Is there addition inside the parentheses? No, not distributive property. Also, I guess if I have two plus, three plus five, is the operation out, is the operation multiplication? No, not distributive property. Here's some multiplication. There's parentheses and addition, but it's not addition inside the parentheses. So it's not the distributive property. Any questions? One of the things that's really hard about this is that we are trying to curb um, decision based decision making based on just kind of the form of the thing that we see. And we really want to read what's happening in the expression so that we get the message of the expression correctly. And so we apply the, the rules correctly. We want to stop looking at, at forms. And it's better to be able to read entire thing, uh, the, uh, the expression, read the expression, what it's actually trying to do, rather than to just go based on the form and remember some trick like FOIL. Because if we just learn, if we just kind of autopilot our way onto FOIL, then it's fine if I give you FOIL problems, it's very bad if I give you not FOIL. Very bad is pretty excessive. It's incorrect to FOIL when that's not what the expression said. Any questions? Comment? Slide remark? So make sure you're reading your expressions carefully because math is a very specific and precise language. Apart from that, I believe that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma and I'll see you some other time.